plan to dominate, baby. Right now. Not tomorrow, not the next day, but right now. And I need your help in doing that. Recruiters. Recruits. Ain't hard to find. I'm coming. I ain't hard to find. <laughs> Boys and girls, ladies and gents, it looks like he ain't hard to find because Coach Deion Sanders has five stars recruits from Alabama. Tweet now. Let's get into it. Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel, High Top Sports. I'm your host this evening, Shelton Walker. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn the bell on, and let's have a good old time and talk about old Coach Prime and what he's doing in the port transfer portal already. Boys and girls, ladies and gents, Coach Prime has wasted no time. My man. On getting on top of this portal game, he tweeted out just the other day, Lord, that portal is jumping. Let me see what's in there. I ain't hard to find. Hashtag Coach Prime. And he also tweeted this. I keep seeing I'm blessed to receive an offer from Colorado football. I'm cool with that. But if you know what I know, you need to start saying I'm blessed to commit to Colorado football because they're coming. Get it now before it's too late. Hashtag Coach Prime. I ain't hard to find. He's out there moving and grooving. And it looks like it might be paying off because since those tweets and obviously a little bit before that, a source from Josh Newberg says that Colorado has had over 200 recruits and portal transfers have reached out in the last 12 hours since Coach Prime had committed at that time. Some of those are even four to five star caliber players. And now look, I just found out that the signing day, they have 45 days from December 5th, the transfer portal to sign. But most of these guys have to be enrolled before the next semester. So look before early January for these kids start to sign. And we know that they're obviously with the bowl games. And I could imagine most of these kids will want to have all this done before the new year. So I would imagine these things are going to heat up tremendously over in the next few weeks. So make sure you guys turn that bell on and get into it because we're going to be covering all of it. But while we're here, what we want to talk about is five star running back from Alabama. Trey Sanders tweeted at Coach Prime right after near, near damn near the day of that Coach Prime went out to Colorado and said, Hey, um, what we doing? Let's get into it. Hashtag Coach Prime. Now, could it be a troll? Could it be more of just him trying to get out there and see what's going on? I don't know, but it seems too good to be true. Obviously, he's, he was at uh, Alabama for four years in 2019. He had an injury that happened to him. Then he got in a car wreck. So he's had a little bit of a setback, which is obviously the reason for his time, his time to leave Alabama. He's trying to make one last effort to get the ball rolling, work if he can land on his feet and get things moving. Now, I haven't seen Coach Prime sent any offers to him or him commit to Buffalo since that tweet. Is it could that he could be waiting? I don't know. Maybe he's lost goods. Who? I, I'm not quite sure. But could you imagine he comes in and gets a guy like Trey Sanders, five-star recruit from Alabama to get this ball rolling, to get this class started for 2023, to get this campaign started for 2023? A lot of people have these guys going 1-11 and 11 again next year, 6-6 six and six next year. It's Crazy ones got to win in the Pac-12. Is it crazy? I don't know. I know we keep talking about the portal because that seems like the, the, the hottest spot for Coach Prime to land with 2023 season wrapping up and trying to get some guys to sign right now. May seem out of the question, but never to Coach Prime. Just recently, uh, four-star running back Dylan Edwards, who is committed to Notre Dame, has decommitted. He is the 10th running back in the nation. He's ranked 192nd nationally, so he'll be a top 200 player. And now, right now, he's being crystal balled heavily towards Colorado. They have him favored 54% for Colorado. This would be a massive pull. Again, do I see this class finishing high for Coach Prime? I think it's in the low 50s right now. No, I do not. But again, if he can come in and flip a kid like this this early on, get this ball moving, pull in somebody like a Trey Sanders, it's just going to allow for him to have a, even that much, a greater season in 2024. 2025, he's already landed at a five-star wide receiver, okay, from IMG Florida. This guy is working. He is hunting. He's on the. He's all over the place. His marketing's through the roof. It's it's been a blast to watch. It's been a blast to keep him part of. It, it's gonna. It's only gonna get spicier from here. Okay, the kids in the portal only again have so much time to they can sign up for. They have until January before they have to make an announcement around like January eighth. They have forty five days from December fifth. Essentially, so those portal guys they have to sign. Okay, you've got early signing day coming up December twenty second, I believe. Then you're late. Signing day, February 3rd. I would expect that late February signing date to be really hot for Coach Prime because he's going to have some time, an extra month or two, to go after those guys that couldn't find a home the first time through. So turn the bell on. Stay tuned in because I promise you it's only getting heated up from here. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.